Hey yo, what up? Welcome, I am Fireborn, and today we are getting into how to be a better sniper in Warzone 2.0. This is something I've been asked for a lot and something I'm going to cover today. And with these tips, you will have the edge you need to win more games in Warzone 2.0. This tip that I can offer you is understanding the sniper rifle choice you have. First and foremost, it's the most important to understand the different types of sniper rifles available in the game and their strengths and weaknesses. Weapons like the Signal 50 fire fast and have really nice damage, but have hard bullet drop to take care of. Whereas others like the Victrix and the MCPR both fire fast, have good bullet velocity, but take longer to rechamber. And knowing those differences will go a long way to helping you win each round. Each of the rifles have their own unique attributes and things like bullet velocity, scope magnification, and shot accuracy is something you need to familiarize yourself with so that you can choose a rifle that best fits your playstyle. Tip number two, know your range. Once you've chosen the sniper rifle, then it's important to know the effective range of the chosen weapon. This will help determine the best position from which you can engage your enemies. And something to keep in mind, the further the target and the higher the bullet dropped, it's important to adjust your aim accordingly. Choosing something like the Signal 50, you'll have to learn the bullet drop more, meaning you need to learn how to lead further and how much further you need to aim above a target to land the long shots. But something like the XMR or the MCPR, you can actually aim much closer to the target and lead significantly less. But picking one that you enjoy and knowing the range of it will go a long way to helping you be a better sniper almost instantly. There's a couple of choices depending on the range you hope to be a sniper for. Using something like the LAB330 or the SPX are both close to mid-range snipers because both of them are going to lose their 250 damage which only actually maxes at 249 because currently in Warzone 2.0 you cannot one-shot someone but they will lose that 250 damage at a significantly closer range. The 40 and 50 meter mark is about as far as the LAB and the SPX will go and do what's considered critical damage leaving your opponent at 1 HP. Something like the Signal 50 will never actually do 250 damage or 249 even, putting people at critical, whereas it only maxes around 238. But the weapons like the XMR, the MCPR, they will both put people to 1 HP at any range. So if you look to be a long-range sniper, check out the MCPR or the XMR. Mid-range, with a fast fire rate, you're looking for the Signal, or... If you want to be an up-close and aggressive sniper, the LAB and the SPX both feature extremely quick ADS speeds with really good rechamber times. Tip number three is focusing on your breathing and trigger control. Now, as a marksman shooter in real life, those are both very important things. And, surprisingly enough, it actually transfers over into the game. Understanding that sniper rifles require patience and steady hands, meaning you need to actually take time to line up your shot, focus on when you hold your breath as your character, and keeping your aim steady, and additionally, you need to practice trigger control, where if you're on keyboard and mouse, you do not want to click violently and actually pull yourself off target. Or if you're on controller, you want to make sure that when you pull the trigger, you're actually on target and not pulling it too early or obviously pulling it too late. This is something that takes a lot of practice and over time you will get better at it. Tip number four, use cover and concealment. As a sniper, you are a prime target. The moment that anybody finds out where you are, you are going to be the first one they're going to want to take down because you are one of the largest threats. Being accurate over ranges means that no longer can people just peek targets and keep firing. You are now target number one. So, it's important to use cover and concealment to stay safe. Finding secure positions with a clear line of sight and using obstacles to conceal your position will help immensely first off from avoiding being spotted, but afterwards also will give you cover and time to line up your shots. Choosing to stand in an open field puts you in pretty much a loss zone, but understanding how to utilize cover such as rocks, trees, and of course everybody's favorite, rooftops will save you significant plates, health, and hopefully save you from a trip to the gulag or even worse, back to the lobby. Tip number five, keep your eyes on the prize. Stay alert and keep your eyes on the objective. In the Battle Royale, the idea is, of course, to be the last team standing, but each circle has a micro-objective. In Warzone, frequently now, it's dealing with, first off, things like strongholds, or when you first land, obviously, uh, finding all of your loot. But after strongholds and then black sites, 
one of the actual primary objectives is understanding and following circles. So that way you know exactly where to be for the next objective. But as a sniper, that's even more important for you because you are no longer just now making rotations. You're also planning your sniping attack positions because if you are in a ditch in a low valley and you don't have any room for cover or any height to be able to take shots, you become a significantly less strong fighter. And so now you need to make sure that you are not only paying attention to where the circle is going, but you also need to understand where the circle is going, where the height is, where the players could be that you might have to be watching for, and what you can utilize to separate distance between you and, and where people are wanting to go. So you're not only trying to prepare yourself for the circle that you're in and the circle that you're going to, but also, if you need to, you have to plan for the circle afterwards. And that is where sniping becomes significantly stronger, even in Warzone 2, where there are no one-shot downs. Because being able to hold a team out on a cross is going to be one of the most valuable things right now, especially considering the number of self reses in Warzone 2 that hopefully is going to be adjusted by the next season. But the number of self reses in Warzone 2 is so strong that if a sniper can actually keep a team down and keep them out and actually burn a self res or two, you will have a significant easier time winning that round. And finally, tip number six. It is the one that I recommend the most, and it's the one that no one wants to ever hear. But it is practice, practice, practice. Finally, most important of all is practice. The more you play, the better you'll get. So what you need to do is keep playing as a sniper and refining your skills. Experiment with different play styles. Maybe choose a different sniper for different days. Maybe find a new one that is just going to force you to be uncomfortable and learn to fight in a different way as well. But if you keep trying new versions, new attachments, and most importantly, have fun, you will find that you will grow as a sniper significantly quicker than if you are just going at it bored as you can be or letting yourself be frustrated by missing shots. Understanding that you miss every shot you never take, Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott, understand that you have to take these shots. You're going to miss some. You're going to mess up. You're going to cost yourself rounds. If you don't try to continue to improve yourself through practice, you'll never get to the level that you actually want to be at to where you can start landing the shots that really make sniping exciting. So get out there and try some new things. Try to play in a more aggressive sniping way or maybe a more passive sniping way, but get out there and actually give yourself some time to practice. Don't beat yourself up on missed shots and rejoice the ones that you get that you actually have a lot of fun doing and Share some of them with me when you make some great ones. But that's it for today's tips and tricks for sniping on Warzone 2. Remember, the key, the key to success is practice. So get out there and start playing. If you have any questions or any suggestions, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, peace.